A relative calm has returned to the ancient town of Igongo days after the Seriki Fulani of the area was evicted by youths in the Baraba North area of Oyo State. Plus TV Africa correspondent takes a tour uh, around the area to investigate the genesis and reason for the breakdown of law and order in that area. Viewer discretion is advised as you may find some images disturbing. The caretaker chairman of Ibarakwa Northwest Local Council Development Area, Igongon Daniel Okediji, expresses fear of reprisal attack by the Fulani groups as records of attacks has been reported at the suburbs of the town. OKDG stated that cases of highway armed robbery were rife before it escalated into kidnapping. Residents and farmers in Ayete, Igongon, and Sonora narrate their experiences with the armed Fulani as many have been affected badly. Uh, it is not these last two weeks that this thing started. It started a long time ago. Uh, initially, it was a case of Fulani herders, the, the herdsmen, uh, attacking the farmers on their farm. When they destroy the farm, the farmers want to react. Uh, some of them, instead of uh, pleading with the farmers, they start macheting them. So many people were macheted that way. Killing our people, when reaching our farm, they will just drove the owner of the farm away and hit all the materials inside. Even I got a farm there. It's about 30 acres, cashew farm. They have destroyed everything. And I reported the case to police at Aite. But when Seriki reached a police station, no case was done. I was going to go to the house and I was to go to the house. 20 acres. I was going to I of the movie by my yard. But Roy Jobasi, Belu, or Roti, Gama Gama, only Filani, Lo Tabi, Pio da Kama, Gwenny Repo, among Bata Yakumato, I deba and by Tiko Sibadumo, I Lidauko, Kayo, Unloko, Unloko, Kosimoja, or Lidau Benera Loko, Ibalo, Porti Patipa, Nukuno, Banabla, Donatari, among Fernand Jacu, Jacuta, my grandma Jacumo, and my Wakumo, was a danger on me. In suing for peaceful coexistence in the area, a delegation of Oyo State government officials and the new commissioner of police in the state toured the trouble spots of Ibarapa and Okyobun areas of the state, where they conducted on the sport assessment of the tension soaked communities. The caretaker chairman insisted that the evicted Seriki Fulani as kingpin in those nefarious activities. Within the space of one week, three persons were kidnapped. One, we, we, we collected two million of ransom. Another one, three point five of ransom. Then the last one, that the the petrol dealer there, seven point five. The sitting chairman of Igana Local Government Development Council, Olaiwala Adeleke, also recalled his bitter experience as one of the victims in the axis of Ibarapa, as he was made to sleep on the floor for six days and six nights before a ransom of 5.5 million naira was paid for his freedom. All of a sudden, we had gunshots. So before we knew what was happening, these people came out of the bush with guns, rifles in their hand. So they said we should open the door. We opened the door. They began to slap us, me and my driver, beat us mercilessly, and they were even shooting the guns continuously to scare the, everybody away. 
He took us out of the car and then took us into the bush. So, and that is how we remain with them for six days, six nights. A young boy. Mm, they are full and indigenous, they spoke full and language. All attempts to get across to evicted Seriki Fulani and their representatives prove abortive as records of reprisal attack were allegedly being carried out by suspected armed headsmen after the eviction. Although Southwest governors, including Governor Shei Makinde of Oyo State, recently agreed to allow grazing, residents and traditional ruler in Ibarakba North insist on total eviction but the chairman calls for caution that only the bad heads should be evicted in to my own definition is evicting the bad fulanis the wicked one the callous one that is, to my own definition, a victim them. And this is one Nigeria. With this relative calm being experienced, security experts and analysts alike are of the opinion that if government fulfilled its own bargain of ensuring the safety and welfare of its citizens, harmonious and peaceful cohabitation would be a low-hanging fruit. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.